Hey Lions, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi the Leo, and today we are doing a pick a card reading on what messages does my future self have for me right now? What guidance does your future self have for you right now? Now, I don't want to apologize for the lighting, guys. I'm currently sitting under a window, so um, the lighting is a little bit odd. I didn't have my ring light with me, and I just got called, literally, to do this video. I wasn't going to do this video today, um, but I literally got called by Spirit, like, okay, do this video today, and, you know, have this message come out today, because... Well, you'll see in the reading why. If this meant for you, it's meant for you. You know what I mean? So um, I really was just called to do three pals today. Then usually I do like four. But I was called to do that. I literally just have my breakfast and it came to me and I was like, I have to do this. So there's definitely messages here that some of you guys definitely need. Um, and that are being called to be shared with you guys. So as you can see, there's three piles in front of you. This is pile one, pile two and pile three. So do what you guys need to do, meditate, get in the zone, see which pile you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in your reading. Hey pal number one, welcome to your reading. So today we are talking about what future messages are coming through for you right now. What messages and what guidance does your future self have for you guys in this present moment that you have clicked on this video. So I'm going to start with the tarot cards guys and then we are going to move in to the oracle cards. Uh, I do apologize if the lighting is a little bit blurry right now. I'm kind of like right under my window and I cannot find my lamp for some reason. So that is why the energy may seem a little bit misty but let's just get into this so um with your tarot cards we have the ten of pentacles justice the three of swords the lovers the ace of swords and the three of pentacles and the oracle cards that you guys have are the crumbling beauty sage and the bee spirit so starting off with your tarot cards guys i really feel like there is a lot of abundance that is ahead of you there is a lot of abundance ahead of you spirit is showing me a mountain um, and that you are halfway to the top right now. That's where you're at. And the future self that's coming through is at the top. And your future self wants me to tell you guys to trust in the process. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to make... Um, a lot of you guys have this mentality right now. I'm being told that... Um, you know that mentality where you're like, okay, everything will fall into place. And everything will be good if I have this... You know, I'll feel good once I've lost a bit of weight or I'll feel good once I've done this or I'll feel good once I've bought that house or, you know, bought that new crystal. Like, I'll feel good then. So what you are then doing is putting a projection of happiness, putting a projection of peace and tranquility in the future. And by doing that, you're not putting it in the right now. So a lot of you guys have that very much right now. It's like, okay, well, in the future, I'm going to have this, 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 and this. But you're ignoring or looking over the beauty of right now and where you are right now. Because Spirit is showing me um, a spider um, and the spider creating the web. Um, and they want you to be in love with the process of where you're at right now. Love who you are right now. Even if you're not, you know, completely comfortable in your body right now, start to love it now. Because that love will help you change the way that you look at your body. And it's the same with your life. If you're not happy with something in your life right now, start to make these changes now. <clears throat> because change becomes in the present moment. You know what I mean? And I feel like by doing that, you'll bring a lot of balance into your life with the Justice card. Um, you'll bring a lot of balance into your life. I feel like a lot of you guys are... Some of you guys are too much in the past, um, so you're thinking about a lot of the past, you're thinking about a lot of um, what went wrong, what could have been, and then some of you guys are too worried about the future, so you're getting anxiety, I see some of you guys having sleepless nights, I'm worried about the future, I'm worried about what's going to happen, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried, and uh, it's causing you to not live in the present, and your future self wants you to know that the present is where you are going to find that abundance, where you are going to find that beauty, where you are going to find that confidence. And I feel like there's a lot of grounding work that needs to come in here. A lot of healing, which we'll get to in a minute, but a lot of grounding work that needs to come in here. Because what you're seeking, 
when we search for external so saying that we go buy an expensive car it's not actually the expensive car that we're truly desiring that we're truly wanting what we are actually wanting is the energy that comes with it so it's like okay i want this expensive car but it's not because you want to sit in that car and drive around town it's that energy of maybe it's the energy of accomplishing something that you're searching for maybe it's the energy of um a boost of confidence that you know that you're searching for but whatever it is it's the feeling that you are searching for and spirit is saying whatever it is that you're searching for externally right now whatever it is that you're like okay well i need to lose this much weight and i need to have a glow up and i need to have this and i need to have that it's already inside of you now stop searching for it externally because it's already internal and the minute you start to do that it's when you'll find balance and you'll see fruitions coming in some of you guys are in your head and you need to ground yourself into the present. That's what your future self is trying to say right now. You need to ground yourself into the present and realize that you are all that there is and you are all that there ever will be. You are God. You are the universe. You are you are what you came here to be. You know what I mean? Like you have it all inside of you. It's like you don't need to wait for a glow up and wait for... Um, you know them things that people say on Twitter and stuff and it's like, once I align these chakras, it's over for you hoes. And once I get a nose job, it's over for you hoes. And once I get my mental health on track, it's over for you hoes. It's like, stop waiting to feel complete when you have a family and you have a house and you have that new job and you have a partner. You are complete in yourself. You came here as a soul. And that soul that you came here as is complete. That soul is complete in itself. You have everything that you need. Anything else is just external that we've been trained to believe that we need, but we really do not need. So whatever it is that you're like, oh, well, I'm going to be happy once I do this. I'm going to be happy once I do that. No, be happy now because that will radiate more abundance in for you. Now, the next cards we have, guys, is the Three of Swords reversed with the Lovers. Now, the Three of Swords reversed talks about healing. When it's upright, it talks about a broken heart and heartache. But this is reversed. So some of you guys are beginning to heal or have already been doing healing work in regards to a past lover. And normally I say this could be relationships. This could be like a friendship or something like that. But this is a lover. This, this is really coming through strongly as a lover here. And you are healing. And I feel like some of you guys right now, you are not enjoying the healing process. I mean, who really does when we're in the midst of it? It's not the most comfortable thing. But these feelings are coming up to the surface. So if you guys have been finding recently that a ex or a situationship or somebody that you've had energy and love towards is either showing up or they're showing up in your subconscious, they're showing up in dreams. Or for some of you guys, you're just thinking of this person a lot. There's nothing wrong. You're not moving backwards. This is coming up to the surface for you to heal. And the way you heal that is by finally addressing the emotions that have occurred and that have been buried deep inside of you, finally feeling them and, and releasing them. Because by doing that, you are then clearing out all of that negative energy that is in your, in your body and has been stagnant in your body. And once you feel that and finally let it go, you are then released. You are then feeling free. You are then ready to welcome new energies in. So if you are worrying like, oh my God, I'm going backwards. I'm thinking about this person. I shouldn't be thinking about them. That's okay. That's part of the process for you to heal. Because if that didn't come up for you guys to heal, that would still be dominant in your energy and you'd be subconsciously blocking new energies from coming in because those old energies were still dormant. So they're coming up like a volcano to erupt for you to finally feel them. Because I feel like some of you guys have been avoiding feeling them now. For some of you guys, it's the emotional root. But others of you guys, I am really picking up that others of you guys have been um, in a karmic loop with somebody for some time. In a karmic loop with a relationship for some time. And it's like you're on and you're off. They come back and then they don't. But it never fully turns into fruition into a full relationship and that is because and this may not be something that you guys want to hear that is because you guys are in this karmic loop because there's something that either of you or maybe one of you has not released yet 
I'm hearing the word codependency. Some of you guys are codependent on your person or your person's codependent on you or both. And the reason that it's not coming to fruition is because we don't step to relationships as two halves. We step to relationships as two wholes. And we're content in our energy. There's no need for codependency. So that being said, you guys are going through that karmic loop for you to finally release that. And really detach in the sense that you do not need anybody to validate who you are. A lot of you are working on that right now. So there may be a karmic relationship that keeps coming up and spirit are calling you to look at why this person keeps popping up, why it never works out the way you want it to. Really look at it and go, okay, okay. So what can I do to change the narrative? What is it that I'm not learning? Now the next card we have, guys, are the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So I really do feel like there's a lot of beauty coming. You remember I said your future self is like at the top of that mountain and you are currently in the middle of that mountain. By healing these energies that have been stagnant for some time um, and letting them flow out, that is making way for new energy. So some of you guys may even be at that point right now where you're waiting for the new energy to come in. And sometimes when we heal a karmic block or we heal stagnant energy from the body, we almost feel empty in a way. Because we let go of all the negative thoughts in regards to the situation, all the negative patterns that have come to fruition as a result of the situation, and they no longer serve us anymore. And we almost have this feeling of like emptiness. So some of you guys are at this point. You're having this feeling of emptiness where it's like, okay, um, I feel kind of empty. You know what I mean? I feel kind of like there's something missing. And that's because you have just cleared out energy for new energy to come in. So some of you guys are playing the waiting game right now. And what your future self is saying is that start visualizing what it is that you want. If you are in this point right now where you are in the waiting game, start to visualize what it is that you want. Because I am really seeing there's a fulfilling job of venture that some of you guys are going to go down. I'm also being taken to traveling. I know right now we're in coronavirus times, but this is a timeless reading. So whatever time you're watching this, there is there is traveling coming up here. Or it could be, I'm hearing... um. What am I hearing? What's that word? What are you showing me? Architectures. I just hear the word architectures. They said arc and then they didn't show me anything else. And they're saying architect. Architect. Okay. That may be something that you guys are going down towards. I'm also being taken down to philosophies. Um, some of you may be studying philosophies. I'm also being told religions as well. I don't, I'm not sure. Some of you guys are expanding your awareness, but there's a hobby or something that you're going down and it's going to bring you guys a lot of fulfillment and you're going to make new friends. Whether it's that or whether you guys are just going to make new friends in general, I don't know why, but there's a hobby or something that you guys want to take up. Or maybe it's just being a part of a community, like the spiritual community or something like that. There's something that you're wanting to take up and go down the path of and your future self is saying yes follow that because following that is not only going to be bring you prosperity in regards to wealth but it's also going to bring you prosperity in regards to connections and i see a lot of connections coming in for you guys um like friends i just heard Han montana's song true friends i don't know why like spirit just use that but um that's what's coming through yeah i just hear true friends true friends like you i feel like there's a connection that's going to come in um like a best like i don't know I, you guys may be getting new best friends to be honest with you i don't know why that's coming in but i'm just being shown true connections true solid connections that are coming through here um and that are, are kind of like a wait in for you sorry guys i just knocked the camera um now the oracle cards the first card that we have here let's pick that up so you can see because it's kind of misty um we have the crumbling what are you clinging on to now that being said guys some of you guys are holding on to the past some of you guys are holding on to old ways of thinking some of you guys are holding on to this x that is cropping up th this old energy Some of you guys, I feel, have been in solitude for some time or have not dated anyone new because you're still, still scarred from this connection. And Spirit are calling you to really release that. 
because some of you guys are avoiding feeling those emotions spirit are really calling you to release that and if you don't feel like you can do it on your own spirit are really ushering me to tell you guys to move towards counseling or therapy and try and maybe seek help if it's quite deep but some of you guys are actually hearing our energy workers so you may be able to work through that energy in your body anyway but I feel like some of you guys are still crumbling on, like, holding on to an idea that this situation may still, um, work out, um, or that this situation may come back around, or you are subconsciously still waiting for this person, you may not even realise it, but you're subconsciously waiting that this person may turn around and see your worth, and turn around and see that they made a mistake, or turn around and see that you are the one that they want to be with, some of you guys are still waiting, it's like, oh, you know, they'll, they'll come back to me, do you know what I'm actually hearing, or sh being shown, let's say, is somebody like, um, you're not in contact with somebody you've stopped talking to them and this person usually comes back in contact with you like i said there's karmic loops that i'm being shown here this person sometimes crops back up and is like okay um they come back and you go into like a situation again and then it lasts for a couple of months and then it breaks down and then you don't hear from them it's like a karmic loop and some of you guys are waiting for that karmic loop to start up again and you're telling yourself like, yeah, well, I'm going to tell this person where to go. I'm going to tell this person like um, that I don't want anything to do with them anymore. But even though knowing that, which is great that you've got to that point, you're still waiting for them to come back so you can flex that like you're over them or you can flex that like you don't need this situation anymore. And you guys actually need to ask yourself, why are you looking for that validation? This may trigger some of you. I know that. Why are you looking for that validation to tell that person that you're over them? Why don't you just walk about and be over them? Why don't you just go about your life? Why are you still waiting for this person to come back and you, you tell them where to go? Why don't you just walk away? You know? Revenge is just moving on with your life. That's what revenge is. Moving on with your life and knowing that that person does not have access to you anymore. And you give yourselves the closure. You don't get closure from other people. You give yourselves the closure. I'm being told to tell some of you guys to write down what it is that you're holding on to and release it. Let it go. Burn it. I'm being shown, like, I'm being told for you guys to write down your, um... Sorry, guys, I'd ring it in my ear then. Um, I'm being told for you guys to write down what it is that you're releasing from this person, what you're taking back from this person, because a lot of you guys gave a lot of your energy to this person. Writing down what it is that you're releasing and burning it and watching it um, go into the atmosphere, go into the, into the air. That's what I'm really being told. That would really be therapeutic for you guys now the next card we have is beauty i feel like some of you guys are struggling to see the beauty within yourselves um i feel like a lot of you guys may have a lot of insecurities that you need to work on and i do feel like there is a there are a result of this situation um and i just should very strongly as a beautiful woman's voice you are enough your future self is telling you you are enough you are all there is like i said at the beginning you are what you came here to be you are all there is you have the light inside of you. You have beauty inside of you. Like, don't look for it external. It's internal. Some of you guys definitely need some rose quartz. Spirit are really showing me rose quartz. There's some self-love that is being worked on here for a lot of you pal ones. You guys are working on self-love. This may even be a journey that you've already embarked on. And then we have be devoted and committed and I'm here and be devoted and committed to yourself and whatever journey you're on, whether it's your spiritual journey, your self-love journey, your healing journey, be devoted and committed to releasing yourself from any limitations of your ego that are holding you in a space where you feel you are not good enough or you feel that you haven't achieved enough because you are all there is and it's time to free yourself because you deserve to live in abundance. You deserve to live walking around feeling the confident being that you are the beautiful being that you are you deserve to walk into a room and feel beautiful you deserve to walk into a room and feel loved because you are loved and you are beautiful and that's what your future self is getting you to understand right now your future self is almost saying to like 
I feel like some of you guys, like, when you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you're like, okay, um, I don't like what I look like. I don't like my hair. I don't like my eyes. And your future self is like, stand in front of that mirror and look at the divine being that you are and be like, okay, my lips are beautiful. My nose is beautiful. My eyes are big and beautiful. My eyelashes are beautiful. My hair is beautiful. And fall in love with your reflection. Fall in love with who you are, you know? Because you deserve to feel that love and only you can give it to yourself. That is the only way you'll find you'll find fulfillment. And the final card that we have, guys, is the Bee Spirit. Sweet results await. This is my favorite card of the deck. This is the butterfly. Um, sweet results await. You are the one that's going to bring you to salvation. You are the one that's going to bring you to your happiness and your confidence. And it's not going to come in six months' time, in a year's time, once you buy that car and you buy that new weave and you buy those eyelashes. It's going to come right now, right this second. You're going to click off this video and you're going to be like, okay, I am love. I am love. And all the abundance that I want, it's, it's already within me. Okay. Okay. And you're going to start feeling it. And I'm sending you these energies now. You're going to start feeling it. And you're going to be like, okay. Okay, I am love. I am beautiful. And you're going to start looking at life in a different way. And that's what's going to bring about these sweet results. Because the minute we feel good on an inner level, the minute that we feel gratitude and we feel full on an inner level, is when it starts to show on an outer level. And in this process... If you start to feel wounds, negative thoughts, energies, insecurities, they are coming up from your subconscious to be released. So feel them, hold them, see where the root of them is coming from and release them. Because you, be, you deserve to be free from them. So your future self is really calling you guys, whatever point, because I feel like there's two different points of this journey that you guys have, that that you guys are on sorry some of you guys are still in that healing stage where you know all these energies are coming up and it's quite heavy but it's okay you're gonna get through it you're gonna work through it it's happening for a reason it's clearing out and your future self is saying keep going keep going keep going and some of you guys have already done that so the next stage that you guys are on is waiting for the abundance to come in it's coming in it's coming in you have a lot of good connections coming in. Your future self is showing me a lot of abundance, a lot of newness. But any insecurities that you're holding on right now, your future self wants you to really acknowledge them and know that abundance and fullness isn't going to come in six months time or a year's time when you get this, this and that. It's already within you. It's not something to search for. It's something to feel within you. And that is the message from your future self. So that was actually beautiful. And I really enjoyed doing that reading, guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, hit like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments how this resonated with you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Hey, pal number two. Welcome to your reading. So we are looking at what messages your future self has for you at this current moment in time and what guidance your future self has for you right now. So I'm going to start with your tarot cards guys and then we'll move over to the right onto your oracle. So the cards that we have for you guys, we have the five of wands, the nine of wands, the five of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, the eight of swords, the six of swords and then we have the oracle cards, you're already doing it. We have the hawk spirit, we have father sky and we have have new beginnings now what i'm really picking up here guys with the five of wands and the nine of swords is that you guys when i'm tapping into your energies there's a lot of um i'm hearing indecisive there's a lot of conflicting energies some of you guys are feeling or have been feeling a little lost or a little stuck with where you are currently at in life right now. Um, some of you guys are feeling um, a little bit blocked or just worried about the future, worried about um, worried about what could be. And this is causing you guys a lot of anxiety and I feel like you guys are not jumping to a lot of your goals or listening into your intuition or jumping towards these ideas because 
you are frightened about what might happen. A lot of you guys are wanting to stay in your comfort zone because that is where you guys feel comfortable. And your future self is saying, this isn't anything that you're doing wrong. This is part of a lesson that you are supposed to be going through right now to really test your intuition and what it is that you truly want. Some of you guys have a passion, have a direct path that you know what you want to go down, but you almost feel stuck. And there is a way out. I feel like a lot of you guys know that there's a way out, but it's almost like you're not even looking at that doorway like a doorway. Some of you guys are looking at that doorway like that is too risky or that is too big for me to even take that risk. Like, you know, some of you guys, it may be a profession that you want to step down and you, you're you too scared to. Um, And it, it's your mind's kind of going back and forth. It's like, yeah, okay, I could do that and I'd enjoy it. But like, what if it doesn't work out? What if, you know, it doesn't bring the money in? What if it doesn't, you know, work out for me? And this doesn't have to be a career path. This can be, you know, pressed onto a relationship as well. This is a general reading, so take what resonates. It could be that you like someone and you're scared to say to that person, hey, I like you in case it flops. But for a lot of you, this is work-wise. This is career-wise. This is um, a path in life that you want to go down. It's like, I'm scared to jump into that because... I've already put a lot of energy in what I've been doing now and I'm scared that not only will this crumble, but what I'm jumping towards isn't going to be worth it because it's not going to be for me. And I want to tell you guys about a quote because um, Spirit is showing me that. Jim Carrey, um, I may not say it as well as he did, but Jim Carrey, um, he used to talk about his passion and how he wanted to be a comedian. And his father also wanted to be a comedian, but he didn't believe that being a comedian would pay his bills. So he decided to work for this firm instead because it was more practical. And Jim Carrey said him and his family, you know, they were okay while his father was working for this firm or whatever it is that his father was doing it was this job that was a really practical job and in the end he ended up losing the job and Jim Carrey always said well if you could fail at doing something that you absolutely hate why wouldn't you just go ahead and do something that you completely enjoy and that fulfills you why wouldn't you just take that risk and that's what Jim Carrey did and Jim Carrey is known as being like this great actor and that guy's pretty woke now. I'd actually look into him. And I, I like watching his speeches, to be honest with you. He's pretty woke. But he has... There's a lot of substance in that. Whatever it is that you're clinging on to, it can't be bringing you too much fulfillment if you're battling in your brain if it's really what you want to do. When you're walking in your path, walking in your true soul purpose maybe you guys are now being revealed to your true soul purpose and it may seem out of reach when you're walking in that path there's no anxiety there's obviously a little bit of fear because you know what you're doing it's out of the norm usually and it's out of your comfort zone but there's no am I doing am I doing this or should I be doing this oh my god it's like there's an inner knowing that even though you're scared even though you're frightened it's what you're supposed to be doing but I feel like a lot of you guys are in a situation right now where it's not bringing you any fulfillment and you know there's something else out there but it's like you're not stepping towards it because you're in your comfort zone and I feel like whatever it is that you're stuck in I don't feel like it's it's either not bringing you a lot of money in because the five of pentacles talks about loss of wealth it's either not bringing a lot of money in or it's just like physically draining you it's literally draining your soul it's making you feel at a loss it's not making you feel good and spirit is saying if you take the hunch and jump towards what it is that spirit are calling you towards it's going to bring you abundance, but you've got to believe in yourself and believe that it's going to bring in that abundance. It's going to look at the universe like literally hand in a coin. The universe is offering you a way out. And yes, okay, it seems crazy, but spirit's really calling you to take a step of blind faith here. No growth comes from comfort zones. 
I literally was working in a job where I was not earning a lot at all and I only took it because I wanted it was like a part time I had time to myself and in that time I was learning astrology and numerology and um I was working you know I was on my spiritual journey I was working on my chakras and I was healing and I was getting myself prepared for one point stepping out away from that job and into the into the world with my spiritual gifts and you know moving into that as that being my job and everybody around me I live in like a small town and everyone has small town mentality where it's like doing what I do now honestly everybody looks at me like I have two heads and <clears throat> I was still working in that job and I'd saved up a little bit of money and I was ready to start like my YouTube and stuff and, and come out into the world and do what I was doing and spirit were like okay it's time to leave now it's time to leave that's not even bringing you abundance and you can earn you know, more money elsewhere. And I was like, I can't take that leap. That's too much of a big leap. I'm, you know, oh my God. And Spirit will like, do it. It's time. It's literally time. And that was a huge leap. And I did not have any plan B. And it was blind faith. I didn't know how it was going to work out. But it's worked out pretty well for me because I took that leap and I trusted in my soul and I trusted in Spirit. And that is how I'm where I am today. And Spirit are really calling you to do that. And with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords, I feel like, if you see here, it's kind of like she's imprisonment, but she's not actually chained up by swords. She's chained up by a ribbon. So she can truly, oh my God, I'm like up here because I'm looking at it, but it's not even in the camera. She's chained up by a ribbon. But um, she could break free of that. It's not very tight. She could break free of that if she needed to, right? So can you. So can you. She has a blindfold on. Take that blindfold off. A lot of your fears are in your head. You need to release them. The Six of Swords talks about releasing baggage. You are at a point, you are at a crossroad in your life right now. Your future self is saying. Are you going to walk away from what doesn't serve you? Or are you going to settle? Your future self does not want you to settle. And I don't think that you will. Because your future self is coming through very abundant to me. And very full to me. You already know what you need to do. Then we have the Oracle card. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. <laughs> Keep facing your true north. Listen to your soul. Let it be effortless. Listen to your soul. What does your soul want to do? What is your soul calling you to do? It could be something as little as taking an art class. It could be as little as beginning an astrology course. It could be as little as switching jobs. It could be as little as setting up a mini Etsy shop. I don't know. Walk with that. Walk with that passion. Because it's going to lead you to a great destination. And then we have the Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Some of you guys may have a hawk spirit as a spirit animal or just birds, like a bird in general, like an eagle or a robin, I'm being told. But I'm also hearing that spirit also sent animals to you. So make sure that you are looking out for whatever animals are coming towards you because they're going to be very significant. But spirits really working with you make this decision right now. And I really am being told to tell you guys to connect with your spirit guides and meditate because you're really spirits really helping you make this decision and make this leap right now you know like when a bird finally hatches and it's been like in its nest and it finally needs to fly and it walks over to the edge of the nest and it um it takes that leap and it's never used the wings before so it doesn't know whether it's gonna fall or whether it's gonna fly But it still takes the leap either way. And then it flies. And that is really what I'm being shown with this card. That's what's coming through here. And you know what's crazy? You know, we have that. We also have another bird here. Flee from the nest. It's time to leave the nest. It's time to step out your comfort zone. It's time to flee the nest. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. You know that quote? It's a little bit cringy to me. Like, it's a little bit cheesy to me. I don't know. Like, I used to hate saying it. But actually looking at it now having like you know gone through like awakenings and, and really seen the beauty of that quote you know that quote it's like well what if I fall 
And it's like, yeah, but what if you fly? Like, that's so significant to this story. Like, what if you fly? You guys are so worried about what happens if I fall. What if you fly? What if you guys fly? What if you guys make it? What if you guys reach what it like reach that abundance because let me tell you something guys you are going to because you wouldn't have that inkling to go down this path if you didn't have what it takes that path would be given to somebody else but it wasn't given to somebody else was it it was given to you so follow it follow that inkling in whatever it is and the final card we have for you guys is the new beginnings card are you going to stay in this old energy or are you going to embrace these new beginnings that this leap of faith is taking you towards because I think you guys know what you want to do. And your future self knows what you want to do. And judging by the energy of your future self, a lot of you guys are going to make the right decision. And I'm not going to tell you what that decision is because you already know. So that, my friends, is the message from your future self. And that was actually really beautiful. So... I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this was able to bring you guys some clarity. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to click on this video. I'm sending you guys a lot of love. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know down below in the comments how this resonated. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey, panel number three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what messages your future self has for you guys what guidance your future self has for you in this present moment so the cards that i've drawn for you guys we have the knight of wands the three of wands the two of pentacles the ten of wands the six of pentacles and the king of wands then we have the pillar of light we have transformation we have the water guardian and we also have the porcupine spirit now, with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands, I really feel like you guys are about to... Hmm. What I'm really picking up on here, the reading starts with the Knight of Wands and then ends with the King of Wands. So there is a lot of growth here. A lot of transformation here. And we have the transformation card here. You guys are about to embark on a new journey. Like I'm seeing a lot of karmic shifts from my pile number threes coming in over the next year. If they haven't already started to happen. And this is not being singled out as one specific path. Probably because this is a general reading. But you guys have had an inkling of some sort of where you want to go in life, where you want to take life. Or some of you guys have looked at your life and gone, I'm sick of being, you know, taken advantage of or I'm sick of feeling insecure. There is something that you are about to, if you haven't already yet, um, work on. Whether that's healing or moving into a new energy in your in your mind. Maybe some of you guys are going to start working on your physical bodies. There is a change of, like, there's a change of foot, is what I'm being told. And it's coming in. So if it isn't happening already, Spirit is saying just, like, chill out because it's going to come to you. It, it's almost coming through energetically. Like, you're going to have this random idea one day. Like, hmm, I think I want to start working on my self-confidence. Hmm, I think I need to start working on self-love. Or, hmm, I think I want to start um, this particular career path. It's going to come to you. And I see, like, a lot of you guys may be, if you are all already in this energy, in the beginning stages. And I feel like it's something that you're working on that you lack in. Maybe you guys want to um, work on your physical bodies. Like I'm seeing a lot of you guys, it's to do with confidence or some type of self-help. Becoming the best version of yourself. You're really dedicating yourselves to stepping into that. And you're really expanding your awareness. This is what I see you guys going down. You're expanding your awareness on how you can do that. There's an idea coming into you. And with the two of pentacles and the ten of wands, I feel like the next stage of this, or you may even be at that stage, you guys are working on restoring balance in your life. A lot of it's to do with self-love. I feel like a lot of you guys grew up like, um, you guys may have people pleased a lot. You guys may have like bent over backwards for a lot of people and you didn't get that back. 
and you're realizing that that was a product of your childhood that was a product of what you learned growing up that was a product of you know what you knew in your teens you, you became that way because you were lacking in something and whatever it is that you are lacking in, you are now bringing back to yourself. Any energy that you gave away to other people, you are bringing it back to yourself. And I can see that this isn't easy. Like, of course it isn't easy. We have the 10 of wands here. It's not easy. I myself went on a self-love journey and it wasn't easy giving all that love to myself. It wasn't an easy process, but I worked on it and I dedicated myself to it. And in doing that, I was able to find that love in myself to where I'm at today. So what I'm really picking up here, guys, is you're working on bringing balance into your life. You're working on turning yourself from the Knight of Wands who pauses and, and starts to manifest and think about what he wants to do and turning it into the King of Wands, the true manifester, the king, the king of his craft. You guys are perfecting something. Some of you guys is to do with work or it's doing something where you can bring abundance in. Some of you guys are starting a business. Some of you guys may start be starting a business where you're helping other people. Some of you guys may be investing. Some of you guys are working on law of attraction. But right now, your future self is saying it's a time to work on yourself. It's a time to go into hibernation and work on yourself and whatever it is that's coming through, whatever it is that you want to work on. A lot of you guys, it's a business venture. Do it. Work on it. Some of you guys may not have a lot of income coming in right now, a lot of money coming in right now. And this idea by moving towards it is going to bring your finances into balance. Some of you guys are struggling right now in regards to that. But you, you deserve to live this prosperous life. And this is why you're having that idea in your head. It's time to bring that into fruition. Bring that into balance. I'm truly picking that up. There's a lot of people that are about to step towards you on this journey as well. That are going to help you. And... Your future self is saying, accept that help. If somebody's offering to invest, if somebody's offering to help you, if somebody's offering to be a part of your journey, as long as it feels right for you, don't be scared of letting them in. Like, allow them to come in. Just be careful for... Your future self is telling you guys to be careful for where you're putting your energy. I feel like a lot of people try to take advantage of you, Pile 3. I feel like a lot of people try to take more of you than you are offering and that's where the two of pentacles is coming at coming in too a lot of you guys are learning to set your boundaries because you're giving 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 but you're not getting anything back and you deserve to have that back maybe it's in work maybe you guys are working to the brim working really hard and not getting the finances that you want back well, it's time to change that. And I really do feel like you guys are about to change that. I see a lot of manifesting here. The fact that we have a lot of ones. I feel like you guys are really good at manifesting. Spirit are really calling you to write down what it is and visualize what it is that you're bringing in. The fact that we have, guys, the transformation. We have Shakti. The transformation card. You guys are going through... An insane transformation are about to embark on a complete transformation of the soul. Where you no longer accept halves. Where you no longer accept less than what you're worth. You're going through that right now. And that can feel a little bit confusing and daunting at the beginning. We have time for a beginner's mind. That can seem confusing and daunting at the beginning. Of course it can. Anything new that we step into is daunting. But... Growth doesn't come from comfort zones. I said this in one of the other piles. Growth doesn't come from comfort zones. And I feel like you really... I feel like a lot of you have a bit of anxiety or if you're feeling really uncomfortable right now and Spirit is just saying like there is literally no need. A lot of you guys are about to work on yourself or work on something that's going to bring you in abundance or bring you into your purpose and then we have pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle yeah you guys are doing some self-work you guys are stepping towards some self-work that's such a beautiful card it's gonna bring you in a lot of abundance 
you guys are about to realize how powerful you truly are and then we have water guardian connect with your emotions i feel like some of you guys if somebody upsets you a lot of you guys may not speak up about it because you don't want to you know it's like a people pleasing energy and you know that's no shade i honestly suffered with this like my whole life some of you guys when somebody hurts you or somebody does you dirty or somebody like doesn't do what they should be doing to honor you you it upsets you but you don't say it and spirit are really calling you to like work through that because i feel like there's like unresolved energies but it's something that you're working through to bring yourself into balance so i feel like whatever it is guys i'm just picking up a lot of new energy there's a lot of newness coming in there's a new adventure that you're about to step forward onto um and your future self is really calling you guys to get yourself in balance now I'm going to say start working on yourself, but I feel like if you've picked pile number three, you already have. Or you already have that thought in your head, like, right, no more. I'm going to start working on myself. I'm going to start setting boundaries. Like, to give you guys an example, it was um, August of last year. I decided that I was sick of letting people walk all over me and um, do me dirty. And I wasn't going to feel bad about myself anymore. I was going to find out what it is that was causing me to do this heal it and work on myself and dedicate myself like to myself for a year and if you guys haven't um watched the video yet i have a video on my channel called it called um a year ago today i chose to love myself here are the results it's in my spirituality playlist definitely go and watch that but i decided to set a routine i gave myself a bad routine i started to work on myself i started to work on setting up a business i started to you know really work on myself and put those steps forward and it literally started as like a little routine of me waking up every morning and going for a run and meditating and getting myself where I needed to be. And then it, you know, it became something so much more bigger. And I feel like you guys are on that journey. I'm being taken to that. You're on that journey right now, whether it's self-love, self-confidence, you guys are on that. And your spirit guides are really rooting for you, but your future self that's coming through, they've already been through that and are on the other side. And they're like, telling you guys not to give up give up and keep going even when it gets hard with the ten of wands here it's like even when it gets like you know you don't want to wake up and go for a run in the morning or you don't want to feel chirpy that day like spirit is saying don't give up because all of your shortcomings are about to be turned into abundance you're turning your negatives into positives this next year i'm really being told this next year you are moving into a new vibration and that is beautiful. So that is all I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. enjoyed. I hope that this brought you guys some clarity. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you for watching.